Okay. Should I take the test? Mac, 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 mac. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think if the screen's gonna look like this, it'll look better. Ugh. Yeah, I think like uh he's just attractive. She doesn't like him. Yeah, I agree, Kimmy. I feel like yeah, I, I, I really feel like they could have pushed it. They probably could have dated because they're both such wholesome people. They probably could have dated for 10 years. But I don't think that's the same as like getting what you actually want. I don't know if they had a lot of chemistry. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. Okay, ready? Okay. I value sharing my feelings with others as they arise. All questions are applicable regardless of relationship status. Strongly disagree. Strongly agree. I value sharing my feelings with others as they arise. Ooh, um, uh, kind of, I value sharing, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to take forever doing this. I value sharing my feelings as they kind of, like, I'm going to say agree for sure. Um, let's see. Is it important for partners to keep certain aspects of their lives private from each other? Strong, no. Is it important for partners to keep certain aspects of their lives private from each other? Is it important for partners to keep certain no right like I want to say strongly disagree am I being crazy like is it important for partners to keep certain at no fuck no strongly disagree oh I just I want to make sure I'm answering is it important for partners to keep no wait no okay I'm presently I am presently able to devote time to nurturing a new or current relationship strongly agree I value spending time on my own I do. I really do, though. Strongly agree. Um, the button is a more vulnerable show. Legit, though. It is it. Uh, it is important for partners to talk through their problems with one another. Strongly agree. It is important for partners to talk through their problems with one another. Absolutely. I believe the quality of sex strongly predicts the quality of the relationship. Strongly agree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Girls, can I can I tell you after three years of not being intimate with anyone, the last few months has been amazing. I'm so happy. Oh, um, here, uh, I already posted the link earlier. Uh, I already started this though. I don't think I can post it again, but I will try to. Um, I prefer to keep certain aspects of my life private. Ooh, is this in relation to a partnership? Wait, I prefer to keep certain aspects of my life private. I, that, yes, obviously, but not to my partner. Guys, how do I answer this one? I prefer to keep certain aspects of my life private. But not, this is relationship questions, right? So no, I don't want to keep, I don't have, I don't have parts of my relationship that I want to keep private from my partner. Only from other people in my life, but not from him. I want to tell him everything. So I prefer to keep certain aspects of my life private. Strongly disagree? right or is this with strangers is this with your partner or with strangers i know my stream is delayed so you guys are going to see this a few seconds after i've been contemplating it it's in a partnership so strongly disagree i prefer to keep certain aspects of my life private strongly disagree absolutely not it is important for partners to each have their own individual hobbies and interests uh strongly agree I would like to devote time to nurturing a new or current relationship. I would like to devote time to nurturing a new and current relationship. Uh, strongly agree. I'm reading your comments. Oh, you guys thought it was with strangers? I don't know now. If it's with partners, disagree. If it's with strangers, absolutely. I prefer to process my feelings on my own. Um, It's so dependent. Because sometimes your partner can't help you um, because it's not their job to read your mind. Um, I prefer to process my feelings on my own. I'm going to say somewhat agree because I want to be able to tell my partner everything and have him help me process. But like, what if it's something that, you know, it's not his, if he really can't, you know what I'm saying? Engaging in activities is more fun if shared with a partner. Um, yeah, I would say, I'm going to say agree instead of strongly agree, only because it doesn't necessarily have to be a partner.
It is important for partners to be comfortable with one another before sharing topics that may be difficult to talk about. It is important for partners to be comfortable with one another before sharing topics that may be difficult to talk about. Uh, uh, yeah, because if you're getting like when we were getting to know each other, um, because I was a public figure, we like had a different dynamic where he couldn't ask me questions about like my family, right? I couldn't answer questions about that. Um, because it wasn't my story to tell until he was coming to meet my family. He didn't know anything about them. So is that what they mean? Like, it's important for like, I would have to be comfortable, but it, not because it's difficult, but because it's private and it's other people's consent. Right. So, um, I think that I'd have to be comfortable with them before I shared personal in information. Yeah, so if they, okay, thank you, Soph. You said it, what I was thinking. How would you even get into a partnership with someone you're uncomfortable with, though? But we have. I spent five years in a relationship with somebody that I wasn't sure, like I wasn't always comfortable with 100% of the time. So I'm going to say somewhat agree, or no, I'm going to say agree. Is it important for partners to be comfortable with one another before sharing? Yeah, I think, yeah, agree. Yeah, like I don't really share my feelings a lot. I talk about my life a lot. I share some of my feelings, but the most important feelings to me, I have to be very comfortable with that person. So I'm going to say at least agree. I almost want to say strongly agree now that I've like talked about it. Ooh, Q says actually no. Q2 says actually no. If boundaries are hard to talk about, you should share them even if it makes the other person uncomfortable. Wait, is that what we're talking about? Is it important for partners to feel comfortable with one another before sharing topics that may be difficult to talk about? Fuck, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say agree. I don't know. This one's too complicated. I would feel uncomfortable having sex with my partner when I'm upset with them. Um, I mean, I don't even like going to bed upset. So if there's any kind of problem solving that needs to be done, I'm very much like, let's problem solve. So I probably would feel uncomfortable having sex with my partner if I'm upset with them. But I wouldn't be opposed to it. So I would only feel uncomfortable because if I'm upset with them, I might signal to them like a lack of interest in them because I kind of cut off my feelings when I'm upset. I don't know if it's the borderline, but I let it, I, I kind of disassociate. So I'm thinking a little bit like, well, if I'm upset with you, it's probably going to be hard for me to make love to you because I'm going to be upset with you. So you know what I'm saying? Rock says some of these questions could have an entire philosophy class on them. Legit though. Um, I've had a lot of angry sex with my past partners, but it was really toxic. It was like really toxic. So I don't think I'm going to repeat that pattern in this relationship. I think this relationship is definitely going to be very healthy. And I think that we'd both feel uncomfortable if we weren't able to make love to each other. And so we wouldn't want to associate sex outside of that. So I'm going to say I feel uncomfortable when having sex with my partner when I'm upset. And I'm going to say agree uh, and not strongly agree. I'm at a place in my life where I want to prioritize a new or current really Didn't I already answer this five times? It is important for me to always be included in my partner's plans with their friends. Ooh, absolutely fucking not. not. Um, no, absolutely fucking not. I want to say strongly disagree. Is it important for me to always... No, it is important for me to always be included in my partner's plans with their friends. No. Ab no. What? I don't want to fucking play D&D &D with you and your nerds. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. But absolutely not. No. Mm-mm. Mm. God, hot Cheetos are so good. It is important to have an emotional connection prior to having sex. Uh, no. But it's better if you do. It is important to have an emotional connection prior to having sex. I was just going to say disagree because I feel like no, but the sex is just better if there is. Whether you're a fuck buddy 
or a long-term partner. So I'm just going to say disagree. Is it important to have an emotional connection prior to sex? No. Um, I'm reading your comments. That's why I keep looking over. <clears throat> Learning about a romantic partner takes time. Yes. Okay. You know how I'm like I got engaged between like three to four months in dating, like into the three month mark. We were basically committed and then we waited for the fourth month mark to really solidify the engagement. We talk and spend more time messaging each other than most couples I know. I mean, we have like over 30,000 messages on Discord in each about half. And then we have like um, uh, as a date day every Sunday for like eight hours. And all we do is talk. We talk all day. We're both like chronic computer users. So we're always like doop, doop, doop. We're just like always talking. Um, we like message each other the moment we wake up, when we go to bed. We're always sending each other um, like messages or articles to read or, hey, I saw this in the news. What do you think? So I think the time it's not the time but it's the amount of things you do in a time as well hence the 21 questions like can you fall in love with just the intimate questions I think we talk so much so yes generally speaking I think it does take time and obviously we'll learn each other as we get married too that's going to be so interesting like we've never lived together because I don't want to live with a partner unless we're married I've already done it it's trash so I'm very curious about everything we'll learn as time goes on. And there will be things we will learn. Learning about a romantic partner takes time. Yeah, I'm going to say um, I'm going to say strongly agree because the connotation is that the time is the intimacy. Um, I prefer to consider solutions to my problems on my own before asking others for help. Um, uh, ooh, I prefer to consider solutions to my problems on my own before asking others. Yeah, obviously. Um, obviously I consult myself first. Like I'm the fucking consciousness that I'm having the conversation with in my head. So how do you not consult yourself first? Um, yeah, I obviously, yeah, I prefer to go to my partner with as like, uh, as much thought out as I can get before I'm too exhausted. Then I'll go to him and say, Hey, can I pass this? Like, can we talk about this? Then I'll give him all the thoughts I had and the possible solutions, and then we'll we'll negotiate or discuss together what to do moving forward. So I do tend to come up with solutions beforehand, and then um, and then I confer like we have a meeting. So I'm gonna say I prefer to consider solutions to my problems to wait solutions to my problems on my own before asking others. Yeah, I'm gonna say strongly agree. Oh, bye, Conrad. Have a good nap. When making plans with friends, it it is important to always include your partner. When making plans with friends, it is important to always include your partner. I just fucking hate this narrative. When making plans with friends, it is important to always include your partner. No. No, I just fucking can't. Oh. I'm putting my spam email in. I don't want you all to spam my spam email. Oh my God. It's not even done. I'm still like only halfway through. What the fuck? Um, I know what I look for in a partner. Strongly agree. That's why I think I was so successful this time around. I look, wait, I know what I look for in a partner. Strongly agree. I believe that sex without love is not satisfying. Uh, no. Sorry. Strongly disagree. I feel confident I have the energy needed to build or nurture a connection with a partner. Agree. I feel comfortable sharing all aspects of my life with others. F fuck. Strongly disagree. Having sex with your partner helps you to learn more about them. Pfft, strongly agree. It is important for partners to express everything they are feeling to one another. <laughs> I'm so needy. <laughs> I want to be like strongly agree. Um, I'm going to say agree though, because I do al allow space for my partner to experience his feelings on his own. If he feels like he's not ready to share, it is not my business to pressure him to share. So I'm going to say agree. It is important for people to spend time with their friends without their partner. Um, I'm going to say agree. 
It is important for partners to share all aspects of their lives with one another. Ah, it is important for partners to share all aspects of their lives with one another. Strongly agree. I'm at a place in my life where I am able to prioritize a new or current relationship. Strongly agree. I prefer to reveal myself to others over time. Strongly agree. I do not express everything that I am feeling. Strongly agree. To fully know your partner, you must be physically intimate with them. Strongly agree. Having a relationship is not currently a priority in my life. Strongly disagree. An emotional connection is more important to a relationship than a physical connection. Uh, uh, I hate this question. You need both. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with one or the other? But yeah, if they mean like if my partner gets into a fucking car accident and doesn't have a body, like, yeah, obviously. An emotional connection is more important than a relationship than a physical connection. What is, the, what is, if you're, if, ah. Uh, I just feel like so much of who I am emotionally comes from the physicality. Uh, but I'm going to say agree. Because, yeah, if they took sex, if he wanted to have less sex, I could understand that. Uh, I'm going to say agree. Uh, welcome to being a D&D &D wife, bro. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to be a D&D &D mom, though. I will play D&D &D for the kids. I think that sounds so cute. Um, It is important for partners to spend the majority of their time together. Strongly agree because I'm a needy bitch. Is, it is important for partners to spend the majority of their time together. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. It is important for people to spend time reflecting on how they feel before sharing it with their partner. I'm going to say agree. Because I do think we have a lot of intrusive thoughts. I do. And it's important for me to be very clear with my partner what is an intrusive thought and what is a real Britney thought. I never want him to think that my intrusive thoughts are my real thoughts. And my intrusive thoughts can be pretty violent. So him and I really do enjoy being like, babe, I just had the craziest intrusive thought. And then he's like, whoa. And like we have a lot of fun sharing those things. But we want to share them as like a whoa. Not as a this is a reflection of how I feel about you. Um, Yeah. So is it important for people to spend time? No, it is important for people to spend time reflecting on how they feel before sharing it. I'm going to say agree while giving my partner an open for sharing things that like, hey, I haven't thought much about this, but these are some thoughts I'm having. Look, I'm a very big communicator. I like that when someone says, hey, I have some like weird thoughts, but I'm not sure any of them are valid. I just like feel a certain way. Can I share that with you? And I'm like, yeah, tell me what you're feeling. And then it's going to be easier for me to not get defensive. So I'm going to say agree. Oh, <gasps> it happened. Can you guys see it? The results? Let me make it bigger for you so you can see the results. Okay, you guys can see that. Okay, so um, RIPG love print detail is RIPG the is that the um is that the act like the thing is that what that means like I'm an RIPG is this like my ENTJ but this is my is that what it's called so my color is grape you are reflective um. I don't know if it's better for you guys to see it like this. Is that better for you guys so you can actually like read along? In case my reading dyslexia skills are bad. Okay. Oh, let me fix it for you. Hold on. Okay. Is that better? Um, whoop, let me fix this like this though. Okay. I think this might be better. Um, okay, so you are reflective, an eye person, physical guarded. Your motto, give me a teeny bit of space. It feels so accurate. Yeah, just give me a teeny bit of space. Like, oh, your love print number is 10. So you're prioritizing bonding with a partner. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for you, your approach to relationships with, oh, you were, oh my God. You approach relationships with caution, protecting your independence and privacy. True. 
You're reserved with words and need time to alone to process. True. In fact, physical intimacy is easier for you. <laughs> it's a more direct way of bringing down barriers and building trust. True. But even uh, as you gradually become closer to your partner, you will continue to keep some things separate. Definitely probably like work and stuff. I'm very big on like when I'm working, I'm working. Like when I'm working, I'm working. I'm, I'm, I have to like zone out when I'm working. So in those moments, I'm not like the greatest partner. So I, I'm going to say that's probably what they're meaning. You're a reflective communicator. You need space and time alone to process your thoughts and feelings when there's a disagreement. You don't want to just re react. You want to intentionally respond. So you take some time to think. No big deal. You got to feel everything out before you can figure out what you really mean to say. Ah, oh, so apt. <laughs> so accurate. So true. This is absolutely reflective of like my curtain Brittany. You are an I person. You believe nobody completes anyone you have your own interests hobbies and friends you might like to keep all of that and some of it separate even when you're together being in a partnership doesn't mean you stop being who you are self self care and all that you want to make sure you care for yourselves as much as you care for each other absolutely i'm a i'm a very big like independence that, okay that's what i'm saying like all these american men that i was trying to date i felt like they were annoyed at how independent i felt um when i was dating people in the past I would often get the feedback that they felt um, that they felt that they didn't that I didn't need them. But what I need is like a very secure, emotionally secure partner. I need a person in my life who's going to be there for me emotionally and supportively. So many people are annoyed that I don't need their money. It's so funny. I live in a world where everyone complains that women only want you for your money. But the moment I don't need your money, well, now what am I good for? I'm like, bros. So like, there's just like a lot in there that makes it so complicated when dating. <laughs> Q is making fun of me in Discord. Sheet of paper. You believe all horoscopes are about you. Brittany Simon. True. Stop it. Um... Let me see. You prefer physical intimacy. You see physical contact like holding hands, back scratches, cuddling, and sex as the most direct way of creating closeness and connection in a relationship. True. It's what invites you to share who you are and how you feel about uh, who you're with. Everything everything words fail to say you can express with touch 1,000% why I love BDSM. 1,000% why I love BDSM, right? Like this is so <laughs> – this is so good. Even going back to the ABBA comment, I felt so much more comfortable with ABBA because we were hitting each other. And I was like, oh, shit. OK, this is like a cousin. Like, this is good energy, right? Like, I am physical touch tells me if I can trust you. How you touch me tells me, like, what our energy is more than what you say to me, right? Because people talk a game. Um, uh, and, like, ask – well, I, I, I kind of look forward to my partner, I guess, like, verifying some of this information. Because I will say, like, physical touch and quality time spent together is very big for us. We want to do that all the time. And we're always, like, like just, like, touching. And I love that so much. Um, okay, you are guarded. Getting to know someone doesn't happen all at once. Being guarded doesn't necessarily mean you aren't open. It just means that you prefer things to unfold organically. True. And you and your partner can't just show each other everything. True. And let me tell you why this is true, even though I I, I – I date very aggressively. Your inner worlds are sacred to be gradually explored. Entrance uh, needs to be earned with trust and building trust takes time. Yes. Okay. So you know how all of you are like people will say like, oh my God, you can't just ask these questions first date. You need to unravel them over time. Certain questions are just easy deal breakers. How do you feel about trans kids? The moment I hear someone say like, ooh, I don't feel like trans people are really like a real thing date over, right? Like I'm not going to marry someone who doesn't believe in trans people. So that might sound like a really like deep question to ask on a first date, but it really is just so we don't waste time. Like what am I going to do? I'm not going to be in one of those marriages where I'm like, oh yeah, I believe in gay people, but my partner doesn't. Like I don't want one of those marriages. My mom, my mom the other day, my mom the other day goes, um, you know, Batsy, what if he converts to Catholicism? And I was like, why would he do that? And she was like, well, what if he did? I was like, well, I would be shook. Like, why would he convert to Catholic? We're pretty, we're pretty atheists. Like, I don't know why he would do that. And she was like, well, are you going to support your husband on his journey in Catholicism? I was like, he's not converting. It would be fucking crazy if he decided to become religious. Like, something would be wrong. So then I asked my partner. I'm like, babe, 
if I came to you and was like, we're going to church, I'm religious now, what would you do? And he's like, probably send you to therapy. And I was like, good answer. My mom would just be excited. He would know me well enough to know something has gone wrong. Because Brittany very aggressively feels like there is no God, though I'm open to being wrong, but I have no reason to believe in a God, like no reason. So the fact that my partner knows that something's probably wrong, like I'm probably fucking manic versus actually religious is so comforting because that's literally what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of being so manic one day that I start ranting about God the way Kanye does and everyone just thinks she's having a conversion. I was like, not me though. Maybe Kanye, but not Britney. Britney doesn't have a conversion into fucking faith. That is not, that's not it. Anyways, okay. So I'm really glad that I feel very co- like confident that my partner is going to advocate for me and my mental health very efficiently. Um, your love print number is 10. You're, prior to say, you're prioritizing bonding with a partner. You're ready to put forth the time and effort to build a partnership that works. Um, nurturing the bond with your partner to keep it strong to keep it strong is your priority you realize that while falling in love is easy so oh god this is so true this is so in my brain staying in love requires dedication and intention and you think it's more than it uh worth it yes yes i do bitch yes i do bitch yo 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 this is this test is fucking on it bros That is so true. I do think falling in love is easy. I think finding partners is easy. I think finding people that will settle and marrying you is easy. Like, guys, I think, like, okay, you know how people are shipping me and ABBA? ABBA and I are about 70% compatible. There is so much overlap. ABBA and I could have a very fun dating life for, like, a year. But the truth is, is that we would require things from a partner that neither of us could provide. And then we'd ruin, we'd ruin our lives. We'd be settling, right? Like, I think finding people attractive is easy. Building a long-term relationship with someone is a completely fucking different ballgame. And that's what I want. I personally want a long-term committed monogamous relationship. And that means I have to, I have to genuinely pick somebody that I'm going to really fall in love with and and build and have the same idea about really like the neediness levels of my energy are insane so even today my partner and I <laughs> he got his hair done and then I got my hair done and then we like video chatted we're like hey do you have like a second I want to show you my hair do you have a second I want to show you this do you have a second I want to show you this like we will just call each other in discord I'm like look what do we think And he's like, ooh, what do you think? And then we just talk for literally like two minutes, three minutes. We're like, okay, bye. For some people, that's overwhelming. I know couples and relationships where the partner's like, do not spontaneously call me, which is fine. But him and I negotiated for spontaneous, spontaneous calls because, you know, we want, and he can reject the call and say, hey, I'm so sorry, I'm playing a game or hey, I'm in a thing with my friends or hey, like if if I'm doing something, if he knows I'm in a call, whatever. But I think you have to constantly like build that intimacy and make sure that you don't fall apart. Make sure that you don't fall out of love. Make sure you don't wake up one day and um, wonder where the relationship has gone. I talk to so many people who wake up and they go, I don't even know who I'm married to anymore. And I'm like, ooh, that's interesting. I usually think that means someone went into autopilot and you forgot to like live in the present. So like you wake up one day and you're like, whoa, I actually, um, I don't really love like, San Bro- Shannon Brogy, Shan Bro 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 Drum, San- Shannon Budrum, whatever her name is, very much because I-, I just like the bubble she's in just drives me nuts. Um, but listening to her and Jared briefly for like 10 minutes talk about their relationship, he wondered where the us went. He's like, We had kids and I didn't know where we went. But I think that's interesting because my parents mimicked a relationship where they prioritized each other. So it was God my parents, then their kids, because in their philosophy, you leave your parents and cling to your husband and wife. So they always prioritized their relationship, even beyond their children, which wasn't always the right thing to do as a parent, but it was kind of the right thing to do as a married person, which sounds kind of crazy. Someone earlier asked me, um, what about my lifestyle right now isn't conducive with having children? That is a part of it. I am so focused on my partner right now I don't have room to focus on a child and I think a lot of people have babies um before that is 
like that moment has been had. So I definitely want time with my partner personally before we have kids because I need us to be very foundationally strong, very clear about how we live our life together. There's going to be a lot of changes. I haven't lived with someone in quite some time who wasn't a sibling and um, he's never lived with a partner. So we are definitely doing something new together. And I know that I want to be fully ready to have a child and my attention needs to be on that next stage and it's just not ready. So I want to make sure that I and he, we give each other as much as we can um, with just each other before we bring in that, that third baby, that third life into our, into our little bubble here. Um, so yeah, like when I think about preparing to be a mother, I just think about my spoons, you know, and right now my partner gets all of them. Well, not all of them, but you know, a lot of them. Okay, this was fun. Okay, I really liked this. Yes, thank you. In my head, in my life I'm in bed. My belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking yeah i'm sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool dun, 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 dun.